wonder if these rogues are going to come out at me again. Thinking about leaving this CQ, but I don't know. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Oh, oh, stun, stun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Survive, survive. Poisons, bleeds, happening. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Good attempt, guys. Good attempt. Before we get the video started today, I have to give my sincerest gratitude to Becoming at Lathis, which he sent me two wrecks. And in his message, he says, Just wanted to let you know that I appreciate what you do for the PvP community by posting videos of all of your builds. I use them all the time to own the baddies in Warfronts. <laughs> And he signed it, Becoming at Lathis. Thank you very much, Becoming. Uh, I hope you guys realize how much this helps me. Uh, I cannot express how deeply thankful I am for everything you guys ever send to me and help me out with. Because I'm very open about being a very poor PvPer. So I hope you guys uh, realize how much I appreciate it. What's up guys, Graham here. Gonna run the Inquisitor build here. <laughs> it's, it's a late night for me, man. This is, what, 2 in the morning for me? Uh, I've been going on, I've been playing Inquisitor all day today. And just absolutely smashing everybody with Inquisitor. It's become like one of my favorite classes already, right off the bat. One of my favorite specs. Because, my... My cleric here is almost all warlord gear. He's the least geared of all of my characters. Only only about half of his gear is ruined out because I'm so freaking poor. I mean First blood. I could buy one one of the uh, lustrous runes and then I'd be broke with this character. But I've still got like eight slot bags on him and all that stuff because I can't afford better, man. I need to get a wardrobe for this guy. I need to pick out a wardrobe. That'd be totally awesome. I've already seen this crazy guy in a couple of Warfronts already. I guess he's a... Uh, what is it? Nightblade? I haven't been really paying attention to his buffs, but just a quick glance, I see that he's not Assassin. So I'm going to debuff him every time I see him. Completely cripple him this match. That's the game plan anyway. We'll see how that works out. He might end up killing me over and over for some reason. I've been going like 10 and 0, uh, 8 and 1 and everything all day today. It's It's been non-stop just domination on my part with this new spec. I, w I wouldn't really say it's too much of a new spec because I've ran Inquisitor quite a few times before. But I changed it around a little bit uh, due to somebody's recommendations in the comments. Uh, somebody told me to run uh, 61 Inquisitor, 10 Justicar, and 5 Defiler. And the person who recommended that, I read your comment, and I'm putting it to good use. And I'm proceeding to own it up against people, so to say. i got to focus on what I'm doing here. got to put on a good performance for you guys. Oh man, I'm so tired. It's so early in the morning. I'm a night owl anyway. The, most of my guild is up, usually watching me as I'm up at 5 in the morning still, you know. Stayed up all night long and still up at 5 in the morning. Uh, the main goal here is to dot all of these people up. I can proceed to do burst damage and everything, but really, I'm just wanting to dot them up, 
keep moving. Debuff this guy. Bam, bam, bam. Debuff. Purged. I don't mean debuff. I mean purged. Remove his buffs. See? Remove his buffs, he runs away. Killing spree. This is how it's been all day today. Man, I mean, every match that I'm getting into, I'm just killing everybody. And I've got so much CC. That's the thing is, I got AOE CC if a bunch of people get on me. I've got single target CC. I've got an interrupt. I've got AOE spells. Inquisitor is freaking awesome, man. I'm thinking that's going to be the Saturday video as an Inquisitor build. But if I can get a hold of uh, some good Shaman players that I know, uh, then I may make a Shaman video instead. But I plan on doing both of them relatively soon. The thing is, is that I hit up a Shaman player that I, uh, no, uh, Inquisitor player that I knew, and I said, hey man, uh, how about you help me out with a video? And they were like, can't help you. I don't, I don't get what it is with PvPers, uh, that's a PvE mentality, to hold your secrets. Because PvEers, they're trying to down the latest bosses, they're, um... They're, you know, they don't want to give away their strats or their rotations and stuff because they want to be the first ones down in those bosses. And But it's not the same story with PvPers. PvPers, it's supposed to be about your skill. Um, not some kind of trump card, uh, you know, build or rotation. You know, if you've got to rely on having a one-up on somebody with your build and rotation and stuff, then... Well, macros and stuff, should I say? Uh, then, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, because I grab builds that people recommend in the comments in my videos. And I go out and I do really well with them. And I go, well, maybe I didn't like that build though. Maybe it didn't have enough CC. Maybe it just didn't have enough mobility. Whatever. You know? But yet I can apply some skilled gameplay and still do well with it whereas these guys apparently they're thinking that they're they need some kind of trump build or macros in order to do well I just don't understand it you know and uh, like I said I hit up some of the people that's considered top PVPers so if these guys are the ones not willing to share their secrets and I'm not one of those guys. I'm one of you. I want to share builds and everything with you guys. Alright, what did we go? 12 and 0? I've seen people were saying we had a pre made in our team, and that's totally not the case. Uh, I came in here solo. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.